Hello everyone. Today we will discuss effects of pollutants on human beings. Automobiles are the major sources of air pollution because the exhaust gases contains pollutants like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide. These pollutants are harmful to the human health and also have adverse effect on the environment. Nowadays the number of vehicles also increased. Everybody has 2-3 vehicles. Hence considerably the pollution is also increased as everybody is using the vehicles. Exhaust gas contains number of pollutants in it. So we will see one by one. The first pollutant is soot. Soot contains solid particles of carbon containing 99% of pure carbon. That means the particulars in the soot are formed of pure carbon. They get suspended in air and are breathed in by human beings and animals and become mechanical pollutant of lungs. It adversely affects on the lungs. It is an active carrier of cancer producing substances. Hence, while designing the engine, it is taken care of that the exhaust gases should be produced minimum soot particles which will be helpful to maintain the environment. Another pollutant is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is formed when the fuel burns with insufficient amount of oxygen. That means when the droplets of fuel or particles of fuel does not surrounded by sufficient amount of air for burning then the carbon monoxide forms. The carbon monoxide is colorless, odorless and tasteless. It causes headache, breathing problem and it is one of the major cause for heart diseases. If a person inhales 0.3% by volume of carbon monoxide, then it can cause death within a minute. Hence, the carbon monoxide is such a harmful for human body. 60% of the carbon monoxide present on the earth is produced only due to the engine exhaust. That means the automotive industry or the automobile vehicles has produced 60% of the carbon monoxide overall available on the earth. This gas has strong affinity to combine with hemoglobin in the blood which reduces its oxygen carrying capacity to body tissues. That means if the carbon monoxide is inhaled then and it is getting combined with the hemoglobin in the blood then it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of our blood and because of this many problems can be occurred for your health. The next content in pollutant is hydrocarbon that is known as HC. It promotes the formation of petrochemical smog with nitrogen oxides and sunlight. You have seen the problem of smog many times during the winter season in Delhi. What happens in smog? The pollutants that are nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons are mixed with the fog and this fog and this pollutant creates a smog that affects greatly on the human health. It also causes the diseases re related to our breathing system. The hydrocarbon may reduce the visibility which leads to eye irritation. It gives a peculiar odor and may damage the vegetation also. Hydrocarbon can cause throat and lung irritations. Next pollutant is oxides of nitrogen that is known as NOx. Oxides of nitrogen 
are formed within the combustion chamber due to disassociation of molecular oxygen and nitrogen at peak combustion temperature that is the nitrogen and oxygen combines to form nitro nitroxide high flame temperature and rich air fuel mixture favors the formation of nox that means the nox is formed only when the fuel burns completely inside the combustion chamber it also forms due to the higher temperature of the combustion chamber it is poisonous gas with penetrating odor which destroys the lung tissues it irritates the eyes nose and throat it causes coughing headache etc to avoid formation of nitroxides the engine temperature should be maintained at a such a level that it should not be lower that causes the ignition delay and it should not be much higher that causes the formation of nitroxides hence the cooling system of the engine should be efficient to maintain the temperature of the engine at that level continuously even if the engine runs for a longer time or at the higher speed next pollutant is sulfur dioxide that is so2 it is formed due to oxidation of sulfur during combustion process it is toxic and corrosive the major impact of sulfur dioxide is that it reacts with water and forms sulfuric acid which is very harmful in case of the water that is being used for drinking and it is also harmful for plants and animals its presence in atmosphere causes cardiac eye irritation and throat infections next pollutant is carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere in the form of smoke it leads to respiratory problems suffocation and eye irritation carbon dioxide is a major cause for the global warming as the percentage of carbon dioxide in the environment increases then the temperature of the earth also started to increasing which causes the global warming the carbon dioxide also damages the food crops and vegetation 